Welcome to Life and Living. I'm Joanna Gagas. In this next segment, we're going to talk about something that's near and dear to my heart, and that is pampering yourself. Many women and men enjoy going and getting pampered, be it at the salon for a haircut or some other form of pampering. Well, our next guest is here to talk about some of the health risks that are involved in some of the choices that we make, including the salons that we visit. Her name is Pooja Tulsidas. She's the owner of The Salon, which is in Hoboken, New Jersey. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Now, the salon is a clean air salon in yes. Hoboken. What is a clean air salon? A clean air means that we're free from toxins, from all the ammonia that's surrounding our air, where air that we're breathing in. Where do those toxins come from? From all the products that we use in the beauty industry, from your shampoos, conditioners, your polishes, it's in there. It's the chemical agent that are in these products and being free from it, we are able to create a clean air environment for everybody that walks in. Tell us your story and how you first decided that you needed to create a clean air salon. Sure, well I've been in the industry, I actually went from the business side of working in a salon and spa down to the floor and was a nail tech myself. And when I got pregnant, I automatically realized, well, everything that I'm around, what am I putting in my body, on my body, breathing in, I used to walk through the salon with a, not a mask, but a scarf just wrapped around my face because it was just, I was so sensitive to all the smells and everything that was around me. And the pregnancy really is the first thing that kind of sparked that thought process It was a red you. flag. You know, what am I doing? I'm in this industry day in and day out, and here I am seeping all these toxins in. What's happening to me and my little one? Um, so that's where everything, it sparked my interest to be healthier in this route. And that's where I started researching products day in and day out, something that can deliver, give you the results, but be safe. Did you leave your job when you started having, when the red flag went up and you started realizing what was? Not immediately, but later on, yes, I did. And as a stay-at-home mom, that's when I started researching things that I could do, things that I could change so I can continue my career. And that's when I found an abundance of products that we can use and still be safe. So you found that there were products out there that were organic, that were healthier. Right. Did you find that there were salons that had this kind of clean air concept? There are some. Yeah, they're absolutely all the way from the West Coast and even here locally. It's just I was able to incorporate a full service salon. Um, a lot of the salons that I found that were in practice for a number of years specialized in either nails or um, only skin care. So what I wanted to do was bring everything under one roof so our clients are able to it, take advantage of it. You know, the timing of the segment is really interesting because the New York Times recently released an expose that really looked at nail salons in particular. It didn't look at hair salons, right. but it was a scathing report on nail salons from a number of perspectives. The fir first was the slave labor, really, and that's mm -hmm. kind of a separate point. But second part of it was looking at the health risks and some of the, the health challenges that women who have spent careers in nail salons have dealt with, and that included thyroid disease, many multiple miscarriages or children born with right. de defects. Um, pulmonary problems. So what did you find in your research were some of the things that were happening in hair salons? Hair salons specifically, there's an abundance of formaldehyde, which is a toxic gas that's in the air that comes from the keratin treatments and straightening and the Brazilian um, straightening treatments that you've probably heard of. There's a gas that's surrounded um, as you're doing the service. And what does that gas do to us? I mean, it can even cause cancer. And I had a stylist on staff who said, you know, being in, in this industry for 30 plus years, I would go home with a severe headache and it was, it was killing me. My eyes would irritate and when you do even get something like a color service, you start getting skin irritation, your eyes are burning, all that is from the age and formaldehyde. Um, and that was my main thing is to bring in a color line so our stylists can continue their career but be safe not only for our guests but for themselves. Did you have to kind of train your clientele to understand what the concept was and why it mattered to them? Every day. Every day we're educating clients. I think when our client comes in for the first time, it's a big education process because we don't know. How do you talk to them about it? Um, just, you know, depending on why they're there, why they even came into an organic salon, what it is that they're looking for, and explaining to them that, yes, we can still take you from being a brunette to a blonde, and this is what we're doing that's different. This is what's different in the product that's helping you achieve this goal, but being having a natural alternative as opposed to going the chemical route. 
Did you do research before you opened the salon to find out if there was a, a desire for a, a place like this? I did. I actually started blogging. I had a beauty blog called Sundar Secrets. And um, in there I started providing do-it-yourself beauty regimens. And that's when I realized I started getting feedback. People would ask me questions of, well, how can I do this at home and how can I do that? And, you know, what would be a better alternative as opposed to going this route? So I saw that there was a need. Um, and I joined a mommy group in Hoboken. And just speaking with my friends and girlfriends in that group, I realized that people are really looking for something like this, but we don't know where to go. Do you find that in Hoboken in particular, is there something about that demographic that's been accepting of the salon? I think, I mean, we have people coming in from Brooklyn to, I mean, South Jersey. Um, but I think everywhere people are looking for an answer of, you know, how can I be safe? I'm eating fine. I'm, you know, consciously shopping for better ingredients. But what about what I'm putting on my body? So I think more and more people are becoming more aware. There's also a program for kids when moms want to come and pamper themselves there for a little is. bit and feel guilt-free about it. Right. How do you take care of the little ones? Well, we have a playroom, and I have a great staff who, if need be, if we do need to attend to a toddler or a baby, we're there for you. Um, I wish I had that option when I was, you know, first-time mom, and I wanted to go get my nails done, and I didn't have a place to go. I would have to actually wait for a nanny or my husband to come home to be able to go get mommy time. So I wanted to give everybody an option of, you know what, bring the little guy with you or the little one. It's okay. And you, know, you can still get your manicure. You're an entrepreneur. Yeah. And <laughs> you're, you're, you're breaking ground because, you know, you saw a need. Right. You took a step back, looked at your own life, and, and saw how you could answer that need based on how you felt during your, your experience. Right. What are your set? What's your message to other people who, you know, have that feeling, feel like something's not right, but aren't sure what to do about it? Scared to leave their job? Scared to leave that job? I've been there. Um, if you really believe in something, just go for it. That's all I can say. I mean, we took a leap of faith, my husband and I, and I am so passionate about what we do and what we offer. Um, like I said, not only to my guests, but for our team. I mean, there's as long as you believe in it, just push for it and sky's the limit, I guess. That's good advice. Pooja Tulsidis, owner of the salon in Hoboken, Clean Air Salon. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. It's been me. a pleasure. A production of the Caucus Educational Corporation. Brought to you by New Jersey Sharing Network, Virtua, the New Jersey Education Association, and by NJ Best.